Do you want to know how I got here? No, no. It's more than that, okay? I left some things out. You see, for the past couple of weeks, I've been hearing rumors about how my boyfriend Aiden was cheating on me. And at first, you know, I'm thinking, okay, it's nothing, okay? It's just rumors, just petty lies for people to just sabotage your image. You're fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Then, more and more people started to talk, and as the weeks went by, so much even when teachers started to talk. And eventually, you know, I just, I just couldn't take it anymore. I had to do something, so I did something risky. I heard from his boys that he was planning to skip six period in order to go to the mall. So in a desperate attempt to try to put an end to the rumors, I skipped to follow him. So I get there, and then after about a half hour of looking for him, and maybe just like a tad bit of window shopping, I figured, you know what? It's okay, Amber. Just accept defeat and go home. It's fine. Just go home. So I walk into Starbucks to rehydrate myself, and guess what I see? I saw him. I saw my boyfriend smacking down a low-fat caramel frappuccino and my best friend Asia's lips. <laughs> and I tell you, I was mad, okay? I was more than mad. I was so mad, my eyes were another color. And I just looked at Asia, I just looked at her. And I walked right up to her. And without thought, I just grabbed her by her little ponytail and slammed her into the table. And as for Aiden, I threw that hot drink in his face and then I left. And it felt good. <laughs> but it didn't get better. Fulton caught me and he gave me detention. And as I was sitting in his office, as he was calling my father, all I could think about is, what would he say? What would he do? What would he do to me? I get home. I walk through the door. And I see him sitting, just staring at me cold, expressionless, emotionless. <sighs> he told me that he was appalled, disgusted, embarrassed with my behavior, and that I really need to learn to check myself. Okay? <laughs> and he didn't even care about the fact that my heart was broken or the fact that my best friend betrayed me, okay? All he cared about was how I displayed myself and how I need to learn to do better if I ever want to be in this family. <sighs> after that, I just ran upstairs and I didn't speak to him after that. To this day, he's not speaking to me. He didn't say I love you after I left today. You know what's funny? All this started because I didn't want any rumors trying to ruin me. But in reality, I ruined myself. <laughs>